Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be improving on the previous jump scare tutorial I made, which will be linked on screen now and in the description down below. And what I'm going to be doing today is basically adding decals in on the floor, which are going to be puddles of water as if this ghost has drowned and is now haunting, obviously. And But its cause of death is it drowning, so it leaves puddles of water when it walks. So again, this is another request, and let's get right into it. So what we're going to do first is be using decals to be doing the water. So like I say, I've already done all the ghost walking and stuff, so if you haven't got that, I'd recommend go watching the previous video. But what we're gonna do is just search for a decal up in the top left up here and get decal there, place it where you'd want. And then what we're gonna do is use the material that I've made. So this is just a simple water texture like this. It's gotta be PNG, so it's transparent. So I've got that and put it into a material and just put a constant on into a multiply going into the base color and obviously opacity as well. With the material domain as deferred decal blend mode translucent but that's all you have to do for the material and then this material we're going to just put straight on to the decal material here and you can see that works immediately well like that what i'm going to do though is just make this a little bit smaller so scale it down a bit and just move this like over here get a few of them first she's walking like so so you can use as many as you want or as little but that's what it's going to look like so now as you can tell these are already here by default so to change this what we're going to do is go to level blueprint so blueprints open level blueprint and again that's from the last video so we'll go down find some space and what we're going to do is just select all of our decals that we've got and drag and drop them into here to get a reference to them like so so we'll do that and just drag them down here actually we are going to use this because we want them to appear when the ghost walks over it so i'm just going to be doing this for when the ghost is triggered so it's moving as the player shouldn't really be there so they won't notice them anyway so what we're going to do is simply just drag off of these decal actors and set visibility of the decal like so and we're just going to plug all of these into there so like so set visibility decal and we'll just get this target again for this decal these will all go into this set visibility here and what we're going to do is then move this code over from the last time move over and get a sequence off of our cast let's get a sequence here so we can then fire off multiple lines of code then zero obviously goes into there then one is going to come down to our set visibility here and our visibility is going to be ticked so new visibility is ticked meaning they are visible and then we'll minimize this so hit compile and minimize and again make sure you've got them selected and down here under rendering we're going to untick visible meaning that by default you can't see them and then we're going to make sure that we enable them like we did. So again, double check they're all not visible, like so. And now this should be it done. So what we've done is made the decals, place them on the floor where we want them. And then in the level blueprint, when we trigger the box trigger to move the ghost, it's going to make sure they are now visible again. So again, if we compile, save this, minimize it and hit play to test it, we should see that as we move forwards, we trigger it, the ghost walks over and they then appear. Obviously these don't look too great, but that's just because of A, the material I've used, and B, the lighting here. So because it's very bright, they're very easy to see, but the only reason I've got it there is because without the lighting, they were very hard to see on the floor. So I'll show you again with a bit of a different lighting. You walk forward, and they then appear like so. And now you can set delays, so you find out when the ghost is going over that point and set a delay to only make them visible then but as mine's just going so quickly past the player can't really tell that much of a difference anyway so it doesn't matter too much as this then just works perfectly like so and that also might look quite good as well because then it's kind of the water is appearing as the ghost appears there as well but like i say this is just the basic way of doing it and then all these are always here as well and obviously as well you can add in different decals with different materials to make them look slightly different or rotate them or anything like that again this is the basics of how to do it so i think that'll be it for this video we've done everything we want to do we set it up so that we have decals and when we trigger the ghost to walk they then get placed in as well to give it the effect of the ghost has drowned in a past life and obviously then when they're walking they leave puddles of water so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one